Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you all for tuning in today uh, to another edition of Q Talks. Uh, today, I have been bestowed the honor to introduce uh, Dr. Peace Uche. Uh, Dr. Peace Uche is Doc Peace, a doc doctor of pharmacy by trade and a spoken word poet at heart. She is the best selling author of Doc Peace of Mind Method, a poetic guide to living your best life. She's presented on numerous stages across the world, speaking on how to live a more passionate and fulfilled life consistently. Doc Peace's unique form of ryth rhythmic poetry and storytelling is tailored to spur positive action to help build confidence, strengthen connections, and voice personal truth. So without further ado, Doc Peace, the floor is yours. Thank you, Andre. And greetings, everyone. Thank you so much for having me on your Cube Talk. Today's talk centers around the concept of being gold. But before we dive into what it means to be gold, I'd like to share with you how I discovered this powerful acronym. A few years back, I was working as a pharmacist full time. I had a great job, great pay, great home, great car, great family, and great friends. But I was not fully happy. I did not feel completely fulfilled. I found myself at a wedding dressed in all gold. And as many of you know, a wedding is an event in which 100% of everyone in attendance is looking to put their best face forward. It's a happy occasion. As I was sitting there dressed in all gold, this gold sequin dress, watching the other guests arrive and interact, it struck me. I realized that I need not just to wear gold, I needed to be gold inside. I needed to be an, a genuine, original, loving dreamer. Before we dive into what it truly means to be gold, let's first discuss the benefits. I believe that everyone is either gold or has the potential to be gold. And understanding what it means to be gold allows us to acknowledge and appreciate our innate gifts and talents, as well as to acknowledge and appreciate the innate gifts and talents of others. Doing so allows us to connect better with ourselves, as well as with each other, and to form authentic relationships. So who's ready to be gold? I know I am. I see you, Andre. <laughs> Let's now dive in into the art of being gold. I'll be sharing my screen here, so please let me know if you can see it okay. As we go through the art of being gold, I'll be asking a series of questions. Feel free to record your responses on a notebook or pen or even share them with everyone in the chat box. So the art of being gold. The G of gold stands for genuine which means being authentically yourself. By being your true self, you shine your light. What is this light? It's the innate gifts and talents you were born with. This light is what you give out when you share these traits of yours. When you're genuine, you shine your light. When you are authentically yourself, you shine your light. They say no pain, no gain, and that beauty is pain, but what's the gain in having beauty if we hide it away? Our features, our gifts, and our talents were not meant to be hidden, but appreciated and expressed. See, these traits of ours are what make us each so beautiful. So how can we be more genuine? Think on what specific attributes do people commonly notice and compliment you on? What are some of these unique character traits that distinguish you? And furthermore, what are some unique character traits that you've come to notice and appreciate in others? The O of gold stands for original. Original meaning expressive of new ideas and the openness to share these amazing ideas and uniqueness with others. There's a reason why you were given your gifts and sharing them is an expression of gratitude. See, it's you you're intended to be and if not you, then who would you see when you looked in the mirror? Who would you see? How can we be more original? 
looking back at your list of specific traits, what from this list distinguishes you from others? Here's a big hint. Circle them all. Circle them all. You are unique. There is no one like you. No one can do exactly what you are capable of doing in the same way you are capable of doing it. See, your exact mix of gifts, talents, attributes is so unique that there is no one like you. So without you expressing your uniqueness, who else will? And all of your unique qualities will go unused and your unique tree of ideas will bear no fruit. What a waste. So how can we be more original? I invite you from here on out to own your unique traits and furthermore, appreciate the originality in others. The L of bold stands for loving. Loving meaning acting from heart. When you come from a place of love, you open your heart to receive love. Always strive to make a positive impact because you never know who's appreciating you behind your back. You never know who's watching, supporting, and following in your footsteps. See, every decision has the potential to make a difference. And depending on whether that decision comes from a place of love determines that ripple effect. So whatever you do, do from a place of love because you will find more enjoyment and your contentment will attract others. See, love begets love. So what do you love to do? What makes your heart happy? What activity, exercise, motion makes you smile and warms the depth of your heart? These are great questions to ask yourselves and to ask others to better connect with yourself and each other. And lastly, the D of gold stands for dreamer. Dreamer meaning thinking big. This requires the courage to make your ideas a reality the strength to voice your ideas, and the willfulness to think positive and believe in yourself. Hmm. See, idleness is passiveness. We must make forward moves intentionally to become the you you've envisioned. So how can we think bigger? What are your current dreams and ideas? What steps have you taken to make your ideas take Born. I encourage you to share your dreams and ideas with others and furthermore, take the time to discover the dreams and ideas of those around you. You'll be surprised what collaborations and authentic relationships can form from just one shared dream and a few innovative and passionate ideas. So now that we understand what it means to be gold, what are the seven steps to become bold? Step number one, acknowledge and express your true self. Take the mirror face of pretend off because masking our so-called flaws no longer serves us. See, we are only as strong as our weakest thoughts. So we must strengthen our minds to welcome only positive vibes. Hmm. Are you ready to take on the positivity challenge? It's simple. Remove the weight of negativity and replace that negative mindset with positivity. Why? Because it's lighter, it's more durable, and it serves you by giving you strength rather than draining your strength away. So how can you be more positive? How can you positively acknowledge and express your true self? And taking a step further, how can you positively acknowledge and appreciate the genuine expression of others? Step number two, understand Doc Peace's theory of naturality. <laughs> In summary, my theory states that given that we each see the world differently, we are each our own version of normality. Therefore, we must own our naturality and be a testament of our natural beauty. 
My theory of naturality teaches us to express our true selves in its entirety. And understanding this theory helps accomplish step number one. So I ask again, how can you positively acknowledge and express your true self? And how can you positively acknowledge and appreciate the genuine expression of others? Step number three, push boundaries and explore the unknown. In life, what may be holding us back from conquering our mountains is lack of belief that we could actually manage to succeed, especially if we have tried and failed time and time again. But we are only as strong as our weakest thoughts. And this above all else, believe in yourself. See, you don't know what you don't know. And if you stay in one zone, you wouldn't know the unknown. So I invite you to push boundaries with me. And if you are already, continue to do so. How can you encourage each other to achieve and succeed with you? Step number four, see things in perspective and live with compassion. Hmm. We know we should be kind to others, right? But it's something that we often forget when we are wrapped up in the complexity of our own lives and we may forget to notice the beautiful soul sitting next to us or walking alongside. See, we see the world from our own lenses which holds inherent biases. It takes compassion to see things in a different perspective. This step can be quite challenging, especially in light of these interesting times that we are in. We will be returning to this step shortly to further dive in and ensure that we each achieve the ability to see things in perspective and to live with compassion. Step number five, get it connected. In a world where technology strives to connect us, it seems as if we still find a way to disconnect emotionally. Huh. See, we have a choice in every moment of the day to disconnect or to choose to engage. Choose to engage. Connecting with ourselves emotionally helps us to better connect with others. So how can you get it connected? Who can you reach out to to connect with? And who is reaching out to you? Reach back out and get it connected. Step number six, break free from the mentality of scarcity. By speaking words of encouragement to ourselves and to others, and by telling ourselves regularly that there is enough, enough opportunities, enough support, enough love, we can better break free from this mindset of scarcity. Throughout our lives, we have been conditioned to compete, to beat out the competition at all costs because of the mindset that there isn't enough, that there aren't enough opportunities to go around. But in actuality, I found that we can accomplish so much more when we work together to reach a common goal. First, we create more opportunities. And second, we can achieve something greater than we could accomplish individually, something far greater than ourselves. And together, we truly thrive. And lastly, step number seven, choose mindfully and be present. Here's a trick I used to be used to be more present. I tell myself silently or out loud, I am here for a reason. So I will find out what it is I've come for. 
This allows connections to be made outside of the mind's indecisive conversation. And you will be surprised what new information you will take in and the new connections that you will make when your mind is freed up to make them. When the mind is no longer tied up in self-critical pity of the decision you made to be physically present. See, each moment in time will only arise but once in this life. So if you made the mindful decision to be physically present, be present. These seven steps to being gold is called the dark peace of mind method. Because each step is linked to a powerful flow or rhythmic poetry piece intended to really drive home the message and encourage you to make those forward moves intentionally and to apply each step to your life. So let's now return to step number four. See things in perspective and live with compassion. I invite you now to take a deep breath with me. And now, let me share with you a story. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll be your friend. I'll help you carry on. The other day while humming along to a Bill Withers song, a man reached out his hand and asked me for a dime to feed his meter on time. At first I thought he called me a dime. For those of you who don't know, per the Urban Dictionary, a dime is a score of the most perfect girl on a beauty scale from one to 10, with one being the least pretty and a dime meaning a 10 indicating perfection in the eyes of men. Nonetheless, I immediately went on the defense. To offend me so blatantly to objectify me, the feminist inside me screamed, this man must be tripping. I'm worth more than a silver piece. I am gold or paper at least. <laughs> then I realized what he actually said. And that also got me thinking. Why would this man just assume I'd have loose change to lose? Did I look like someone with a heavy coin purse just waiting to give away my hard-earned money to a stray? But would he think I was hard-pressed for cash if I just walked right on past. This all really bothered me. See, when someone's got you questioning your worth, that's a form of disrespect. I'm worth more than a dime. I am not worth less. I couldn't keep these thoughts to myself, so I looked him right in the face, eye to eye, took a deep breath, and I said, Hey, stranger, look at me. Really see me. Don't try to contain me in your perspective. Use your narrow views to shape me, your past to break me down. Because you can't begin to relate to what I've been through. See, we each have a past. Our story is different from the last. So don't approach me like you know me. With a closed mind, you can't see the inside. Wait until I speak, until I share a part of me before you dissect my intellect. Question my virtue as if you know what it means to walk in my shoes. Listen with all your ears. Don't mistake these tears for weakness. Strength has infinite forms of measure. And if you choose to assume that I am just like you or when you determine I am somehow different, you block your inner eye from seeing reality, from seeing the real me. And until we learn to hold our review, our judgmental point of view, we will continue to be biased and live divided. See, as children, we are colorblind. It's our parents' eyes upon which we rely to explain the differences. 
And oftentimes they break it down to the color of our skin. But I am more than just the skin that I live in. I am constantly changing from the inside. Can't you see these tan lines? We may find ourselves trying to become something different from what we were meant to be as if the color of our skin somehow determines the outcome of our lives, but our cultures were not meant to divide, rather unite us. So break down our defenses and embrace our differences. Don't compare yourself to me. This is not a competition. It's the world we all live in, where there is no hierarchy of value. <laughs> we are each unique without rival. Love your neighbor. When I looked him in the eyes once more, I could see that my words had struck a chord. He looked back at me with his mouth agape. I mean, he didn't ask me for my whole life story. He just struck a nerve under the wound inflicted by assumptions that we all fought to make. So I fed a quarter to his meter and walked away giving him at least 10 minutes to think on my two cent spiel for a dime worth of peel. For it won't be long until you're gonna need somebody to lean on, lean on me. Often I refer to what I call the life road, which is the unique path that we each take throughout our lives. The decisions we make, the opportunities both taken and passed on, the impactful moments that were chosen by us or not, they all help to shape our life road. And I believe that being gold, being genuine, original, loving dreamer is the key to illuminating our life road and to living our best life. And as you shine your gold light, you inspire and encourage others to shine theirs. So now that you understand what it means to be gold and the seven steps to become gold, how will you shine your light and in doing so, ignite the light in others? Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Peace, for those powerful words. Um, You're welcome. Now, if you have a quick quick moment we're going to get to a uh, we have a few questions for you here from some people um, here we go we'll get uh we have bobby uh, says thanks for sharing we often get in our own way you mentioned that we are only as strong as our weakest thoughts very powerful how do you recommend that we change our mindsets great question bobby find the better thought find the better thought, dig deep, find, find what it is that the values, the qualities, the, the, the talents that we have and pull, pull from that, pull from that. And that is the, the number one step to changing that mindset, finding the better thought. And we have a, um, another question from Cyan, powerful. How do you suggest that I start sharing my own story? Another great question. Thank you. The first step can be from just digging in, digging deep, going through these steps that I just went through today on what, what it is that makes you gold. Pull out what it is that makes you genuine, original, loving dreamer. You can start sharing just with yourself, just taking the time to acknowledge with yourself. And then as you, as you get more comfortable owning who you are, then you can start sharing with others. It could be your family, your friends, your coworkers. And then, and then maybe you might even feel compelled to share it with strangers, go on an open mic or become a speaker like me. But it just starts off small, just sharing with yourself who you are and what you have to offer. Awesome. All right. <laughs> um, we have another question from another Bobby here. Uh, can we get cop copies of the, of, uh, what you showed earlier to hang in our departments. 
Oh, definitely, definitely. I'll go ahead and email some of, some of the copies to the to the Cube team, and thank you for that. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> all right, we still got a good bit of time. Here we go. We have another uh, question from Hiram. How do you start looking yourself as gold and not silver? Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's a deep question. Well, first of all, I have to acknowledge that if you're already looking yourself are you, if you're already looking at yourself as if you're silver, that's, that's a step in the right direction, right? So I think by, by really polishing that silver, by really digging deep into who you are and really tapping into the innate gifts and talents that you have been blessed with will help you transform, transform that silver to gold. Because like I said, we are all either gold or have the potential to be gold. And actually, this is a good question to um, ask behind that. Uh, Jose says, congratulations and thank you very much for sharing. It was very inspiring and touching. I was curious why you use the analogy of gold, diamond, shine, and light to indicate goals and good things. Mm -hmm. For me, I believe that gold is the epitome of the, the brightest light. And when I think shining, when I think uh, sharing my, my innate gifts and talents, I think of the brightest light and that's gold. And I love using this acronym because I mean, it stands for the genuine in each of us. It stands for the original in each of us. It stands for the loving capabilities and the dreamer. It's just, it's a really great way to, to remember these different pieces and to apply it to our life. So be gold. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, we have, we have time for uh, one more question. And this one kind of touched to one of your steps in your uh, doc peace of mind method. And it, the question reads from Ahmad, uh, what is scarcity? Mm. Scarcity is the belief that there isn't enough. It's this mindset that there isn't enough opportunity, that there isn't enough support, that there isn't enough love. And when you live with that scarcity mindset, there's fear, there's anxiety, and that doesn't bring people to you. That doesn't bring opportunities your way. That actually kind of propels them away from you. But when you live in an opposite mindset, when you live in a positive mindset, this mentality of, of abundance, then you actually, you attract more, you attract more opportunities, you are more engaging, you are more accepting of other people's ideas, you're more willing to collaborate and interact. And, and when you are acting from that mindset, you can accomplish so much more. Great question. Absolutely was, thank you. Um, that seems to be uh, all the questions that we have received. Personally, I would like to thank you for um, shedding those those positive messages, such a powerful message during this time. Um, we've had plenty of talks uh, throughout the past few weeks, and I think what you've done uh, has been very inspirational to us all. Um, so really, truly, and honestly, thank you for sharing. And um, hopefully this is a uh, not the last that we see of you and we can continue to live on those words that you've shared to us. You're so very welcome. Thank you so much, Andre, and the whole Q, Q team for listening, for listening with your heart. Keep shining. All right, thank you. Have a good one.